Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back to yet another video of TechWave 4. Hopefully you are having great day. Adil here, your host, and let's get started with the gaming review of Infinix Note 10 Pro. I've played PUBG Mobile, tested Call of Duty Mobile, and also the Genshin Impact, which consumes a lot of resources on this smartphone. I've not only played the game, but also tested and kept the record of the heating, as well as the time that I've played a particular game for. So watch this video till the very end to find out how well the device performs. Let's start with the PUBG Mobile and you can play this game on HD graphics setting with high frames and this is the default setting that this game could be played on. You can lower the setting to get better frame rate. The average frame rates that you'll be getting when you're playing the game will be 40 plus. The frame rate may drop when you're landing in an open environment or like a angle or so but apart from that as far as the TDM is concerned I did not find any frame drops, stutter or lag when I was enjoying the game and the frame rate could be further improved with GFX tools. The battery will drain almost 30% after 2.5 hours of gameplay which is kind of impressive. The temperature of the device stayed between 30 to 35 degrees Celsius when we were playing and testing the game. Now please enjoy the gameplay and we'll move forward to the Call of Duty Mobile. You can play Call of Duty Mobile on very high graphic and very high frames and this game manages to drain the battery from 98% to 94% after 20 minutes of gameplay. So I must say that this phone is offering a great battery life here. The temperature when we recorded after the gameplay was at 34 degrees Celsius at the top and 30 degrees Celsius at the bottom. As far as the frame drop, stutter or lag is concerned, we did not find any of such problem when we are playing the game. Now please do enjoy the gameplay for a while and we'll move forward to the Genshin Impact. Now it's time for the Genshin Impact and I was pretty surprised to see that the Infinix Note 10 Pro was not only running this game but it was managing it well. This phone manages to run the game at medium graphics even though you can turn the settings to the high but you'll face frame drops. You may notice frame drop on the medium settings as well but they are not that much that I should complain but on the high settings you'll definitely be encountering them too often. Overall the experience of the Genshin Impact on the Infinix Note 10 Pro was amazing and as far as the temperature is concerned it stayed at 39 degrees Celsius at the top and 35 degrees celsius at the bottom of the smartphone overall it did provide a good gaming experience and uh, i do hope that you'll enjoy the gameplay okay so the big guys dead there we go let's open that chest okay so Okay, so I think that I should conclude my Infinix Note 10 Pro's gaming review by saying that this phone can run any game that's available out there in the Play Store at the default settings without any frame drop, stutter or lag. But you may face such problems if you are playing in an outer environment where temperature is already too hot or you are playing a game continuously for hours and hours. So that are some external variables that might affect what I have tested but apart from that I think that the Infinix Note 10 could be a phone that I can recommend for the gaming purposes under this price segment. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to like this video, share it with your friends and family and also subscribe to TechWafer for more fresh content like this. I will see you in the next one. Till then, peace out.